Bear Creek Arsenal and AR Stoner, what do they got in common and why am I talking about my AR-15? Let's talk about that. What's up guys, my name is Blake, you're watching Midwest Ordnance, and yes, I am talking about my AR-15 build again just like the last video. But there's an issue I've been having with my gun, which if you don't know, if you're new to this channel, which before I wanna say anything, I wanna say thank you to all the new subscribers that I got. Um, Matt, I'm glad you're back on your channel and I appreciate all the good info from my video. So big thank you. And again, thank you to all the new subscribers subscribers i hope you guys stick around because i got a lot more content like this i got more builds coming up and just a lot of cool shit i have for this year but back onto the topic why am i talking about this gun shortly after i filmed my first ar-15 build video i want to say maybe a week or so ago i've been having an issue with this charging handle or just the whole upper receiver in general it will not go back a whole or won't go back all the way a lot it'll have a serious lockup issue and i have to yank on it a whole bunch of times just for it to come out of battery i tried to see what was going on maybe that there was a projectile lodged in there somewhere maybe there was a casing that didn't get sped out all the way so i took my gun apart i cleared it made sure everything was nice because i did have an issue the first time I built this thing and it was because I didn't have the detent and the detent spring in all the way from or sitting underneath the buffer tube. That caused an issue with this thing firing, which I got that fixed. And so I figured, okay, well maybe that is happening again. But like I said, I took it apart, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary and I couldn't find anything. So I took this over to my local gun shop to see maybe if they could find anything that maybe I'm being completely oblivious to. So. I'm still fairly new in the whole gun world, the whole pro 2A community. And I'm, like I said, this is my first gun build. So I wanted to take it to them to see if they could find anything that I'm not seeing. And they did find something. And they found out that the bolt or the, the locking lug was rubbing up against a piece of, I would guess the barrel. I don't know what you call that piece in there that that locks into place that's on the receiver itself but the guy showed me that the bolt itself was rubbing up against another piece of metal which could be the cause of that like i said in my first ar build video i said that i got this upper receiver from ar stoner which would be on midway usa the guy at my local gun store said that maybe trying a new bolt would maybe get this thing to feed and so originally that's what I was going to do. I was going to buy a brand new bolt for it and maybe like a new charging handle because the charging handles on those things might be a little bit different. I don't know. That's my first side charger. But then I thought back looking on Midway USA where I bought it from, it's got a lifetime warranty. Well, I tried looking at that and there was a Google search that I saw that had AR Stoner and Bear Creek Arsenal in the same Google search. So I got a bit curious and I wondered why is Bear Creek Arsenal in with AR Stoner? It didn't make sense to me because I've had a lot of people just within my own inner circle tell me that Bear Creek Arsenal was not good. They're, they're crap in quality. And I've even heard people from like Reno May who said that Bear Creek wasn't that good and just a whole bunch of other people that I've seen. I've read nothing but bad reviews on on Bear Creek Arsenal. I've seen a few good ones, but I guess that's like they're the lucky ones, I guess. So I've generally tried to stay away from Bear Creek Arsenal. Well, doing a little bit of digging, I find out that Bear Creek Arsenal makes that fucking upper that I bought. And how do I know that? Doing a little bit more Google searching, and a little bit more digging, I find out that Bear Creek Arsenal is rebranded under AR Stoner on Midway USA. 
Not only that, I found out that the AR Stoner stuff is overpriced from a couple of people who have bought from AR Stoner and who actually know about that. So I got duped on that. Do I recommend uh, Bear Creek Arsenal? No, no I don't. Because that's the first issue that I've had. I don't think I've put a hundred rounds through that gun alone because I've been trying to save it for you guys. I've been waiting to show it off. I've teased it here and there, but ultimately I don't think I've put a hundred rounds through that upper receiver yet. So what am I gonna do going forward? Well, I'm just gonna get a new upper for it. I thought about getting a new bolt for it. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm just gonna get a whole new upper receiver. And I'm actually gonna get one that's very good, like good in quality, that's got a good name behind it. Something like a Geisley. So that's, it's just, this is just a little update video that I was extremely pissed when I found that out and I thought it was worth making a video for. So I hope it was worth it for you guys. I don't have much else to say. If you do like this video and you do like my type of content, please stick around. I hope I earned your subscription and something that would really help me out is if you like, comment, share this video around. I was gonna do this at the 100 subscriber mark before Matt put my video up and he reviewed it on his channel because I I was sitting at 31 subscribers whenever he did that. And so I'm thinking I'll probably reach 100 maybe by the end of this year if I'm lucky. But no, since I think I'm sitting at 86, I wanna take, I wanna guess. So I'm coming up to 100 pretty close, but I thought I'd push that a little bit further, push it to 150. If we reach 150 before the end of the year, I wanna do an awesome video. We reach 150 subscribers by the end of the year, I'm going to fill this gigantic cardboard tube, and it's about as big, about the quarter size of me. I will fill this motherfucker with Tannerite. I'll put Tannerite on the inside. I'll have like flex seal on both the ends or both on the ends to keep it all contained. And I'll just blow up other random shit with Tannerite. Maybe like a microwave, a safe, because I see safes all over the place. Um, maybe a printer. Random bullshit for reaching 150 subscribers. If we can do that, I will make that video for you guys. That is my promise to you. I may or may not want to do that already, but it'd be cool if we reached 150 too. But I'm not going to do it until we reach 150. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I earned your subscription. If you're new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe, and even share this around. So it helps me get my content out there um, and it grows this channel. So. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Blake and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.